Welcome to part two of the Acer's NIST phase equilibrium diagram demonstration. In part one, I showed you some of the many ways available for searching for the phase diagrams. I also showed you how to display the PDF figures. Please review part one if you need help getting to this point. Recall that the PDF files contain background information along with the diagram. Now let's talk about the alumina manganese oxide diagram itself. You can see here the ranges of the various phases and critical points. Many of the critical points are labeled, but the information is not complete. This eutectic, for example, has composition information, but doesn't have temperature. This paratectic has temperature, but no composition. And this eutectic has no information at all. Now you could estimate the missing temperature and composition values by eye, or you could break out the rulers. However, the Acer's NIST phase equilibrium diagram product has software that blows away ruler and pencil estimations. Let's go back to the search screen. This time, we'll move over here to View Diagram. When I click on View Diagram, the Java-based Phase Equilibrium Diagram Viewer pops up. This viewer allows interactive analysis of the diagram. Along the bottom of the viewer window are composition and temperature values at the position of the cursor. On the far left are the relative amounts for each element, which is also called the empirical formula. Next are fractions of the two compounds, with both mole and mass percentages. Temperature is the y-axis of this diagram, so y on the bottom of the screen is the temperature value. Even more useful is the special cursor. I hold down the shift button, and you see a new cursor pops up right at that eutectic point that we are interested at. And so if you look at the bottom, you can see very plainly that at the eutectic point is 65% alumina, 35% by mole manganese oxide, and the temperature value is 1,761 degrees. Pretty slick, right? Well, let's go on to our next example. When I move to the alumina, titania, zirconia system, you'll notice we don't have one phase diagram, but we actually have six. And as I move through these six, you'll notice how the figure in the window changes. So you can see how that is quite useful. Now let's take a look at how the PED software handles a ternary diagram. On a ternary diagram, there is no temperature, so the PED viewer software gives you the values for the three compounds that make up this phase diagram. At this point, you can see that alumina is approximately 23%, titania is approximately 56%, and zirconia is approximately 20.5%. Now, these are all mole percentages, and you may notice that the values of the different compounds are in weight percentage. So this software makes it quite simple. Rather than having to interpolate across three axes and then do our 3% by mole conversions, obviously this is a much simpler process. So this brings us to the end of our demonstration. To get more information about our phase equilibrium diagram products, you can go to ceramics.org, and under Publications Products, Phase Equilibrium Diagrams, you can see different details of the products. You can compare our different versions and purchase them, um, and get books, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. If you still need more information, go to Contact Us, and here you will find our phone number, fax number, and email. Thank you very much for watching.